Hi everyone, welcome to another video on crystal plasticity. In this video, I am going to show you step by step process of how to run crystal plasticity subroutine with Abacus CAE on Windows machine. To run any subroutine with Abacus, you have to install Visual Studio and Intel Fortran compiler and link that with Abacus. That I am not going to show in this video, for that see my other video. In this video, we are just going to see how to run an example with crystal plasticity subroutine. So first go to this website, the link is in the description box and over here go to Mesoscale. In Mesoscale, you can find crystal plasticity finite element model. And these are all the subroutine files. Now, first thing, create a new folder. You can name it anything. I am naming it CPFEM in C drive. It is very important to create it in C drive. Otherwise, it gives some error. I don't know why, but you have to do it in C drive where your operating system and Abacus is installed. Now, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. These six files we have to download and save in this folder. If you click on that, it will not download, but it will just open. So just click on it, open it, and then copy paste everything into a text editor. I'm using Notepad++ and then save that file into that folder, our CPFEM folder. And the name of file also keep the same. So whatever is on that website, just keep same name. The only thing here you have to change is instead of .f, make it .for. This is for Windows. If you want to run it on Linux, keep it .f. The next file. I know this is very tedious job. And if you don't want to do this, just shoot me an email and I can send you all these files already downloaded. Okay, so now we have these all six files over here. Just to explain you very briefly what these six files are. This .for file is actually the UMAT. This is a very huge file. You can see 7000 lines. Then this texture file, it consists just Euler angles for different ori grain orientation. So there are 500 grains and there are 500 pairs of Euler angles. Then this FCC is your crystal structure. So this specific example is for aluminum, which has FCC structure. And you can see there are different uh, slip systems and twin systems. Then ion isotropic elastic constants are also here. Then this test file, it is kind of a input file. You can say here you can choose um, how many grains you want or which is your crystal structure, which type of crystal structure you want. And you have to change these things accordingly over here. And last two files are just some parameters. You don't have to change anything in last two files. Okay, so once we have all these six files, next thing is to download CAE file. So to get CAE file, click over here, CPFEM DEX. And then again, go to repository. Over here, you can see one element.ca. So just download this file. This file will get downloaded. And again, save this file as well to your same folder. So in total, you need just these seven files. Again, if you don't want to go to all the hassle of downloading all the files, just shoot me an email. I will send you the whole package. Now next, go to Abacus CA. And first thing, set your working directory as that folder, which where you just saved all the files. Open the CAE file. It's an old file, so Abacus will convert it to whatever version you are using. Now this is just a single element example. So if you go to mesh, you can see this is just one element. And if you see the boundary conditions, the three faces have roller support. So it is this face can't move in X direction. Similarly, this face can't move in Y and this face can't move in Z direction. And then we are applying a displacement of 0.75 in positive Z direction. 
so it is actually a tensile loading you can check material how they are defining material you just have to use user material over here you can just go through the CA file and you can do changes whatever you want but in this tutorial I will just run the exact CA file which comes with this and in next videos maybe we can change a few things in that change material change mesh geometry etc so as of now this is a tensile loading and over here you can see there is a job called tension so just open this job go to general over here there is a path for that subroutine file but of course this is not the correct path so you have to change this to your current path so you just have to choose that umat which you saved in cpfm folder say ok again say ok and only one more thing what you have to do is open this umat file go to the top and scroll down a little bit and over over here you will see there is a path so this path you have to change you have to give again your working directory path or where you saved this file so I saved this file in this folder cpfm in c drive so just change that path and save it and that's it now you can submit the job Hopefully it will run. And job is done. Let's see the results as well. So you can see the tensile loading was applied on this face. So this is how the element is stretching. So more results regarding crystal plasticity will be saved in that folder. So if you go back to your working directory, you will see some extra files will get created. And these files will have all other information about grains. And using that, you can plot polar figure or many other things. That's it for this video. But if you have any question, if you have any request, please comment down below. If I get 10 comments requesting same thing, I will make a video on that. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing to this channel, which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these. You can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you're interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile. The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.